Hey, in this video, I will be painting personalized artwork on this Bunker King's pimple mask. Uh, the artwork is personalized. Um, we have come up with the design. Uh, the customer already approved it. And this is the design, uh, which I'll be using mostly as a reference. Of course, I'll be trying to, to make it happen just like it looks on the picture, but uh, inevitably there are gonna be some differences. Let me go in the studio now and let's get started with this mask. So the first thing to do is to do the outline and I'm using a marker for that with my own paint. This outline is very important so I don't get lost in the rest of the painting and it also puts out the most important part of the painting which is the teeth. So once I've drawn all the lines and all the teeth are in, it, in its place, I'm trying to cover a lot of the areas of the painting by using this uh, darkest green as well as using stencils to create texture. This green color is the darkest I'm using and later on I come back with lighter types of greens and change a little bit of the colors. As I use different shades of greens, I also add different levels of texture so there is no, there is no plain areas. Uh, kind of like a reptile would look like. You don't want to see smooth skin on a, on a reptile, right? So that's kind of like the, the thinking behind all of this. I'm darkening the areas, also looking at how the texture is coming along. So now that I have the base color finished, I mix this lighter version of green and with this color I'm basically popping up the scales and areas that I want them to. I'm not fully covering everything like I did in the beginning because I already have that base with some texture so now it's not needed for me to go over too much. Basically just lifting up some areas where I think you know there should be a little bit more texture. Then the very last step I'm doing on the scales is adding transparent uh, yellow and this transparent yellow works just like a glaze so I'm adding more yellow making the green uh, more like a lime green just to pop those colors a little bit more. And now we are just about ready to begin on the teeth. So now it's time to get back to the teeth and start bringing this whole thing together and this is where I spent most of my time uh, because of all the grills and the mask it's really hard to do the straight lines but definitely possible uh, once I put that base color I gotta be jumping back and forth with the airbrush and brushes so I can do the, the shadowing with the airbrush and with the brush I, I'm pulling out the highlights the teeth are not done with just one color so they have this dimension I had to outline every single tooth because this gives it that cartoonish kind of look. 
and um, it definitely goes well on this painting to do these lines. Also, I'm pushing back the tongue, so you know, as it comes from from inside, it, it gets darker, almost as if as if it's going inside the throat or something like that. It's all an illusion, but I think it worked out good for this. And I don't know how this is called what I'm painting here, but the it's kind of like the some joint in the mouth that allows the the lizard creature there to open the mouth <laughs> so um, I really like that little part actually I think it, it brought the whole thing together kind of makes the whole mouth feel like it's longer so just adding more details to the tongue to kind of make it look like it's a little bit wet you know like it has some highlights in it and it's all done with different shades of of red. Looks white, but it's actually it has a lot of red in it. And back here, I'm just adding some more details, some more outlines, just to bring the whole thing together. You know, just to have some balance throughout the whole mask. Since there's a lot going on in the mouth, you know, I needed to put a little bit there. And anything that is hand painted, it has to be signed. All right, so um, this mask is finally done. It's been about a day since I painted this. And um, right now, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy how it came out. Uh, it has the reptile texture all around it, but what is missing here is the the final protective coating and I'm gonna take you in the garage I'm gonna show you uh, when I spray this and that gives us the the final step so that uh, this product is gonna last I'm out here to show you in natural light how the mask came out. Now that it has the clear coat, this is how it looks. It looks flat, there's no shine to it. I really like how it came out. The customer already saw it and he really liked it. So I'm really excited for him to come pick it up today. To get in contact with me, make sure you visit my website and also check out some of the other work I've done. I really appreciate you spending this time with me. And if you wanna see what I do next, make sure you subscribe. Take care.